Ah, uh, yes, for whom the bell tolls. It tolls unquestionably for the Undertaker. One of the five contenders for the WWF Championship. We know that Sid Justice was very, very unhappy with Jack Tunney's decision. He had a lot to say about it. What we don't know is what The Undertaker is thinking about Jack Tunney's decision and whether or not he will take action. And if so, what will that action be? He is the obviously the former WWF champion. That's right, McMahon, and nobody knows what The Undertaker's thinking. That's what he uses to his advantage. You never know what's running through that man's mind or The Undertaker's mind. However, you do know that despite his look and despite his presence, an awe-inspiring kind of a presence, you do know that as far as his athletic gifts are concerned, they're second to no one in the WWF. Well, I've been saying that all along, McMahon. Anybody who can walk the top rope, and that's coming from a man, that's coming from Mr. Perfect. A man that can walk the top ropes with that kind of ability, yeah, I consider him one hell of an athlete. The Undertaker. Now, the one thing unquestionably he does, perhaps better than any other superstar in the WWF, is use the psychological tactics to his advantage. I mean, when you're in there against this man, and you just happen to look into those deep socketed eyes, it just gives you the willies right away. And notwithstanding the fact that he's 6'10 or whatever he is, around that 300 pound mark, that in and of itself is scary, but looking into that kisser of his. Well, when you talk about psychology in the ring, McMahon, I know all there is to know about psychology, and you are right for once in your life. You don't know what this man's thinking when you look into them eyes. When he rolls them back, it, it gives you the willies. The Undertaker and Paul Bear on the outside. No doubt they cannot be happy with the decision of Jack Tunney. Undertaker, oh, way up! What a clothesline! There seems to be some sort of uh, relationship. Communication? The, yeah, with the Undertaker and, uh, and Paul Bearer's urn that he carries with him. What is inside the urn? Would you hazard a guess? Uh, McMahon, I know what's inside the urn, but I'm not going to tell you. Look at this. The Undertaker. And Mickey J goes down to the canvas, planted, much like the name of the hold, the tombstone. McMahon, that is one oh, of the most... Oh, wow. He, he is freaky looking. That's one of the most devastating maneuvers I've ever seen right there. Your neck is not made to bend that way. Paul Bear holding the urn high. And no doubt getting the attention of The Undertaker. Mickey J, the opposition of The Undertaker, also got his attention. Well, he gets some consolation. He'll get himself a brand new body bag. Who in the world would sign on for a match with that man? Look, this is creepy. Back to the replay. Here you see McMahon right here as he comes off the big boot right to the face. And then after that, that flying clothesline, that seven feet in the air he's got to be. And then the tombstone. Look at the neck, McMahon. It's not made to bend that way. Talk about humiliation. Jeez. Oh, <laughs>